I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We are at the Mount Vernon Hotel Museum on the Upper East Side for another tourist in your own town excursion. The museum sits tucked among the large buildings and bustle of East 61st Street. It's a handsome stone structure that was built as a carriage house in 1799 on a large country estate. It survived the city's northward growth once even being surrounded by giant gas tanks of the Standard Gas Light Company in the early 1900s. It had lives as a country hotel, private home, antique showroom, historic home, and headquarters of the Colonial Dames of America. The Colonial Dames bought the building in 1924. They extensively restored it and opened it to the public in 1939. Eventually, they decided to reflect the house's role as a country getaway hotel, which it was from 1826 to 1833. In those years, this was four miles north of the city. The hotel advertised itself as free from the noise and dust of the public roads and fitted up and intended for only the most respectable clientele. People came for the day. They traveled by boat up the East River to appear at the end of 61st Street or arrived by stagecoaches, which traversed the nearby Old Post Road. New Yorkers used it as more of a club than a hotel. There were once some 50 of these day hotels located near the Manhattan and Staten Island shorelines. They served the emerging middle class, competing for clients with elaborate food and fine furnishings. The dining table shows a popular main course, turtle soup and turkey. The main floor also featured a tavern where male patrons could enjoy drinks then perhaps try their hand at cards in the adjoining room. Women settled in the upstairs parlor to talk, sew, and enjoy music, whether on instruments or a barrel organ. The clientele expected fine furniture, like this Chinese writing table, good china, and amenities. A large open area on the second floor could be used for large banquets or dances. Though most patrons came for the day, there were one or two small bedrooms. The only record of an overnight guest is in the writing of Scotsman James Stewart. He authored an 1833 travelogue of his time in America, which included details of his stay at the hotel. The museum features rotating exhibits of furniture, china, and glassware. They have a model of how the building functioned in its original role as a carriage house, and you can still see the arches of the stable openings on the ground floor. The Mount Vernon Hotel Museum still gives New Yorkers a respite from the hustle and bustle of the city. Come enjoy a rare look at a vanished New York era.